Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 20th day of March 2015 and this is a, the daily report for gold and silver, our weekend review and what a week we've seen in the market beginning with that FOMC meeting minutes that were released on Wednesday. We've seen some clear, decisive key reversals in the market. We'll talk about them all through the show, as well as our two trades that we're currently in, long silver, long gold. We'll talk about our targets uh, in terms of exit on both. We'll talk about stops and how we plan to work with them on both. But first to the market, gold currently trading up about eleven twelve dollars on the day eleven eighty two seventy two low eleven sixty eight fifty high eighty seven seventy silver absolutely raging today up almost four percent on the day sixteen seventy two low sixteen oh eight high sixteen eighty nine currently as I said sixteen seventy two putting it up roughly sixty two cents on the day so traders, it is Friday and it is once again all about the dollar. But first, let's take a look at this gold chart. We did make a recommendation yesterday, enter the market from the long side. Uh, subscribers were long at roughly 11.71 or about $11 from here. There were a couple of things that we talked about as really being triggers on this particular trade and to look for a potential bottom in the market. The first thing that we were looking at, and I think that in terms of a candlestick pattern, it's a very common candlestick pattern, but when found with the right criteria at the right proper place in the market and with filters can be incredibly decisive in predicting a basic turnaround. There's a couple of patterns that I really look for when I look for key reversals um, as the market has been moving down. One of them is simply that three river morning star variation. You get it right here. You also get a variation here of a three river evening here you're getting a dark cloud cover right up here but the engulfing bullish in other words where you have the entire body on a daily charter actually can be any cycle but that's totally engulfed by the the uh, next session or the next day on this daily chart that being this candle gives us this two simple two-day pattern engulfing bullish of course you do not take that unless you get confirmation confirmation would come the following day and you would have to have a green candle with a higher high and a higher low and we got that although it wasn't really that large of a range uh, we did take the call there was something else that was really to me sticking out like a red herring so to speak but and it's this macd that you know we've kept at the bottom of these charts over the last month or so because as we've watched this market fall we've seen one this was one attempt to cross and and right here and then now we've got this crossing going on right here so the fact that we had the cross in the macd the confirming candle in our basic pattern that we were looking at really were the two primary factors that we were really looking at and the third of course really was that dollar the dollar has just really really fell out of bed on wednesday of this week we saw it recoup a little bit yesterday only to begin um falling back again today and you'll see that a lot of the falls and gains as we talked about on the chart this i felt it was really important that um people see that the majority of the moves we've witnessed lately have been dollar based rather than gold based meaning rather than us looking at gold here in terms of a risk vehicle it's really been the fact that we pair it against the dollar where we've seen the kind of oscillation that we've witnessed in the market recently so before we look at our dollar chart and, and go through uh, some of the other charts for the day, I want to talk about our, our different levels of resistance and support. As we talked about yesterday, our first level that we had to overcome is this right here, which is 75. We've done that quite eloquently, and we will, I believe, close above that. Now, of course, 1,200 becomes our next real target or mark. And that mark should be taken out, I believe, fairly easily. And I am looking for this market to trade as high as 1220 on the upside. So these are the different levels that we're going to be looking to see how it reacts in terms of the market. In other words, is it going to come up here 1200, find a little bit of resistance and then move up? 
or is it going to barrel through it or is it going to find resistance and just move down from there we want to watch that closely because this is our next level and then i believe that in terms of upside moves we have the potential to go as high as 1220. so one of the uh, particular strategies that we're probably going to implement should the market break 12 1200 beginning of the week is to actually put in what's called a OCO order O C O and what that means is one cancels the other and so whereas we have a stop in the market at uh, 1160 and we'll probably trail that stop up if the market moves higher but we also want to put a price order to get out say at maybe 1218 1219 and you put it in as an OCO, and an OCO is one cancels the other. So what, what that really does is that it would take the stop out of the market should it hit our higher price target, and the OCO would take that higher price target out that sell order if the stop was hit. That's what an OCO is, and I suggest that as a strategy that you consider using for this particular trade because we do want to maximize profits. We uh, really, really could like to see this market move there and to be able to profit from it. Absolutely nice move in the equities markets. I believe the NASDAQ went to uh, all-time highs. S&P back in record territory. Now, we're not at these all-time highs just off of that, but it looks like we're going to close just around 2100 In this case, a little bit shy of that at 2099 But traders, even with that move of uh, 2099 if you recall from the beginning of the week, I put in these channel lines right in here, and my sense is that what we've really been looking at is this market has been just on fire, really really since uh, call it the end of 2012 as long as we remain within these channel lines in other words we can have the market uh, move down to the bottom of this channel line and move up but as long as we have a trading within these channel lines right in here as you can see here then I really believe that this track this upward track here will in fact continue oil attempting to find a little bit support but you can absolutely see on the week it closed slightly lower but it did make a new low and traders of course when we convert this to our uh, monthly we can see that we're still even with a, a small rise today uh, which is taking it off of these lows we're still under pretty dramatic pressure in the oil market and traders so this is obviously the big news this is the dollar falling back out of bed this being our daily chart, this is the FOMC meeting where we saw that tremendous range in the market. We saw it recoup yesterday only to trade a lower today above the lows that we hit yesterday, but a lower day nonetheless. And here's the key. In terms of gold prices today, gold prices are actually up uh, $12.10, but that's due to a weakening U.S. dollar. This weakening U.S. dollar, and we'll put up the Kitco Gold Index right now, but this is actually adding $15 of value and just regular trading is actually a negative on the day. So once again, traders, this is all dollar based. So traders, lastly, I do want to take a look at silver. We are long silver, I believe at 1613. So we've got a nice move in uh, this market. A couple of things that we have talked about. We talked about this yesterday. We'll go through it briefly. Same pattern identified in gold as in silver in terms of candlesticks. We had an engulfing bullish pattern. We went into uh, this trade once we got confirmation of that. We also had the MACD, which was about to cross and now, in fact, has crossed. In terms of our upside target in silver, my sense is that we could see the market move as high as about, call it 1720 to 1730. We'll go into more specifics on Monday or Tuesday, but that's our upper level target here on silver, 1220 on gold. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday for another daily update review. Bye-bye.